OK, so let's go through the last one, ladies and gentlemen. And um, on this example, basically all we're trying to do is rewrite the equation. And we want to be able to identify the slope and the y-intercept. So to do that, we need to rewrite the equation. So again, when we're looking at slope-intercept form, or to be able to identify the slope and the, uh, the y-intercept, the easiest thing to do is to identify the slope and the intercept when it's in slope-intercept form, hence the name, slope y-intercept. This is an equation that's in standard form. So if I have a problem like this, that I need to be able to determine what the slope and the y-intercept are, there actually is a way to do this in standard form. But another way just to go ahead and practice would be to rewrite this in slope-intercept form. So to do that, we need to solve for our variable y. So to do that, what we need to do is identify what is happening to my variable y. And you can see my variable is being multiplied by 18 and is being added by 7x. The reason why it's being added is because that is a positive 7x. All right? A lot of people confuse they, that is a positive 7x. So we're adding the 7x to the 18y. So the first thing we do is undo addition and subtraction to our variable. Um, we do not want to write negative 3 minus 7x. We always want to keep our uh, variable in front of our constant b. So I'll just write that as negative 7x minus 3. So I have 18y, that goes to 0, equals negative 7x minus 3. Now again, I go back to my variable. I say, all right, what is happening to my variable? My variable is being multiplied by 18. So to undo multiplying, I divide by 18. Then the next thing is, when we did literal equations, ladies and gentlemen, um, I was OK with you guys getting used to solving by leaving your answer like this. But this is not in slope-intercept form. right? That's not in that format. So to, do, to complete in slope-intercept form, we need to understand that this is negative 7x minus 3 being divided by 18, meaning I have to divide 18 into both of those terms. So it really looks like negative 7x divided by 18 minus 3 over 18. And then we can simplify, where this can be simplified to 1 sixth. So y equals negative 7x over 18 minus 1 sixth. All right, so look to simplify them. Then we can see that the slope is negative 7 18 and the y-intercept is negative 1 sixth. Cool? All right. So um, for today, there's going to be a couple things that are going to go on.